Do you want to listen to gospel music? Don't you ever compromise who you are? Don't you ever compromise what you may be? How to describe myself? Instead of a man of different talents, different jack of all trades, I pride myself on being able to adapt. So, the biggest thing for me is yes, you play football, but what legacy do you leave? From the moment we're born, the life we live adds up to who we are now. Dwayne Haskins has been playing football since he was eight years old, but has always been preparing for the game of life. Is this like the, the dad chair? It used to be the dad. Oh, it used to be the dad. dad you, are, you are more than welcome to you sit in the dad? massage chair. If you want to get a quick massage, massage man, chair. you go ahead and you get you. My dad always told me that I had three aspects of my life, the sports, social life, and school. I chose to be great at school and football. What did I always tell you guys about grades? Like, I always used to say to them, you know, C is passing, but C is average. So, you know, you're not average, so I expect A's and B's. I remember being in middle school and being scared to get a C, so I'll go to the teacher and be like, is there any way I can do extra credit or something? You know, they always, always told us to chase our dreams, and so they did a great job raising us. All right, I'm good to go now. Y'all ready? So what's life been like for you the last month and a half? Hectic, a lot of flight miles, uh, a lot of meetings. Trying to juggle everything at once. Do you are you looking forward to it kind of the, the ending of it? Yeah, can't wait. I uh, went back to Ohio State and went to a couple of practices, went to the spring game, and it just made me miss it more. Miss me around the guys, miss playing. All right, I think we're going to this park right here. Oh. Everything has come together. It's like the rites of passage. Everything's just matched up. We're at the draft. Okay. Lady, what's up? Ah. All right, keep it real with me, Dad. <laughs> your son's called. Whatever NFL team it is, your son's name's called. How are you going to react? I might have to pinch myself. <laughs> really? I might have a moment. I might shed a tear. I just never thought he'll get to this point. I just wanted him to play football. I just want to see him play. It was never, ever, ever, ever about the NFL. It was never about going to college to be the number one quarterback. It was about the dream. It was all said and done. It's about a dream. Uh, just for me, the biggest thing is, um, you know, getting back to the kids. Because when I was a kid and uh, 10 years old at Ohio State, I was looking up to Troy Smith, and now. I'm a quarterback the kids looking up to it over in Ohio, so it's crazy to me. So I go back to my high school and the kids in elementary school know who I am. That's so humbling to me. Uh, yesterday I was with my sister and we were walking around school, people were signing, and had little kids from up to talk to me and ask me to sign the backpack. I'm like, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's just cool. So, you know, my whole entire life was, was built upon being a great quarterback, great person, great, great brother, great son. Everything I do, I want to be great at, and that's hard for people, but it's not for me. Of course, people have their own criticism and they have their own perspective, but they don't know who I am as a person, what drives me, what motivates me to get better. I know that in six years, I'll probably win one or two Super Bowls by then. And, uh, you know, I just, I have a lot of goals and I write them down and my goals haven't failed me yet, so we'll see. Let's see, I'll break it. Bam. The receivers will be much better at the next level. I hope so. I'll play. <laughs> Appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Appreciate it.